Hey, in this lesson, we're going to be looking at recursive functions. So it's a function that calls itself during its execution. So that enables the function to repeat itself several times, outputting a result at the end of each call. And this is similar to loops. We are going to be looking at loops in the upcoming lessons. So let's take a quick look at the function recursion. And let's start out by creating a variable assigning a value of 100 to that variable. And then this is going to be the function that's going to loop. So we'll just give it a name of loop and how many times the value that we want to pass in as we're looping through this function. And we'll output it into the console so that we can see the value as we loop through. So that uh, console log the value, and then we'll check to see if val is less than one. And if it is, then what we'll do is we'll return the function. And remember from before that whenever we return within the function, that will end the execution of the function. And if it's not less than one, so that condition is not met, then we're going to continue to call the function on itself, but we're going to subtract one from the value of val. So that will decrease the value of val until we hit a value of less than one, and then the function is going to stop. So let's set that and run the function of loop. So how many times we want to loop it? So if we want to loop 25 times, then we just put in a value of 25 into the loop. I'm going to clear the, con the terminal, and let's uh, run app.js in the terminal. And you can see it's run 25 times there. It might be a little bit easier to see here within the web browser that we start out with a value of 25 and we continuously go down and we loop until we hit zero, which is of course less than one. And that's where we're simply returning back that function. So there's also just different ways to, to do this loop. Uh, so let's try one more way to do recursion of a loop. And this is just a really simple example. So they can get fairly complex when you are creating recursions in functions. So just a quick overview of how that works. So again, we're using the val value and output that in the console so that we can see what's happening behind the scenes. And then this is where we've got our condition and checking to see if val is greater than zero. And if val is greater than zero, then what do we want to do to val? We want to do some type of decrease of the value of val and then send it through to loop one and whatever the value of val is at the time. So instead of doing it within the argument, we're going to separate it out and send it through val. And if it, this will continue to loop, and then once that condition is no longer true, then we can just return back and let's uh, return back a value of end. So we've got uh, loop 25 and let's update this to loop 125 and let's try that out. So same result. So start out at 25, loop all the way down to zero. And then that's where the function loop or the recursion breaks because this condition is no longer true. So it allows us a way out of the loop and out of the reoccurring function calls. So try this out and uh, you can be ready to move on to the next lesson.